Uh, so Clement, uh, we are going to talk a little bit about interface, finally. As I remind you, I have information about the interface. Okay. If you remember, Konsberg uh, consists from uh, some uh, main parts for operator. Those parts are uh, the operator desk, with the joystick, with the heading wheel, and track ball. Those okay. are physical manipulators. Then we have many buttons on the consoles which are structured according uh, to functions which may be reached or may be performed by the DP system. And uh, the very important part uh, for DP operator is a DP system screen. On that screen we have interface. Interface mm. consists from certain zones. Three lines from uh, up to down have some specific names. First one is the title line, second one is the menu line, third one is the message line. Here all I system think. messages are reported to the user. Messages are color coded and uh, on appropriate lecture I will show you and explain the color code of the system. Okay? Okay. In title bar you have the current status of the system or information about current status of the system. You may see that that one is K-Pulse. We are driving the motor vessel Challenger and now we are in main simulator propulsion mode if you see over yes. here. Then menu line like for any Windows based application is a line of system menus which are reachable with a trackball and the left click I see. You see inside of the menu line some items described in gray color, like here. The acceleration is not accessible. It means that in current mode selected, function is not accessible. You have to change the mode of command on the system to reach the chosen function. Clear with that? Yeah, I see heading is... Just uh, yeah. whatever, I, I'm choosing now uh, what? Joystick, and in joystick something what is invisible for us. Then, next line of the interface, which is not adjustable by the user. This line is called like performance area. Here you see the system performance details for any selected mode of operation. And items and graphical indicators can be changed only automatically when you change the mode of command of your DP system. Here there are no adjustable zones for the user. Is it clear? Yes, clear. Then, so. my friend, next one. The working area. The screen divided on two main parts, which are called as working area. Working mm -hmm. area is adjustable by the user part of the interface. Here you may, with the right click on the appropriate side of the working area, choose for observation any from the main mm -hmm. parameters of the system or any from the main elements of the system. If you remember, we have seven main elements. Yes. And the means PRS, thrusters, power supply and the rest mm. of the items may be monitored through the working area. Clear with that? Understood. Good. For example, right now we have chosen power from left side or we may check power consumption if you like. Power consumption from the left side. And for example, we will leave the line power from the right side. You see two separately adjustable zones which can mm -hmm. let us to control and monitor any from the desired what elements of the DP system. Okay. Then at the bottom edge of the interface we have one long line divided on two sides. One side is known as status line. Status line. 
Second side is called as a status bar. Okay? Status line, status line, or status line, status line. What does it mean? This is the line which gives you additional description about selected menu in the menu line. When you choose uh -huh. appropriate line here, in status line you will have short description or in English we call it a hint about the function. You know the word hint? Yes, so we know. Which describes that word describes the function, function the... in, uh, uh, let's say, non direct manner. It just explains you for what the function mm -hmm. is needed. Yeah, short description. Yes, short description. Okay. Then, status bar, what it is? This side of the interface is called as status bar. Status bar describes you with small pictograms and appropriate small windows the mm -hmm. current configuration of the DP system and the mode of control which is in use. Look, main mode, we are on standby. We are on standby, right? Yes. And then, position mode, not selected yet. Or it could be what? Actual position or what? Set point. It means we move to the set point. And then, position. heading, not in control. Thrust to allocation mode. Do we have any specific mode for the uh, azimuth uh, rust, uh, let's say, restriction zones? No, no, nothing. Or we have variable. Then center of rotation. Midships. Right now we have midships. Then do we have at least one position reference system selected? Not yet, we are on standby. Then joystick gain yeah, and joystick thrust. How it is configured. If you go to the menu joystick, here you may see joystick settings. What is written here about joystick? Reflected here with pictogram. Okay, trust is reduced. Reduced for the reason we don't have full trust. But if you choose full trust and press apply, some okay. changes will happen. You see? Yes, now it's now full trust. Now, joystick tilt will give you 100% of available power in the end of the tilt. But when okay. you have it reduced, you have 50% of available power in the end of the tilt, right? Uh, then, some information about system gain and what? Uh, of course, consequences analysis activated or no. Here, you know, we have one mm -hmm. indication window. Okay. Then, those, what we discuss are main zones of the interface. Normally, we keep open for observation the power, for example, from left side of this the operate uh, the working area and the position floater from the right side of working area now we are going with you transfer control from conventional bridge to dp of course we are going to do it imaginary we don't have real vessel, we don't have propulsion, we don't have thrusters and the rest of items. For induction course we have only QTO, which is emulator of a DP system, or which is an emulator of a real DP software. So what I offer you to do, Clement, please. Okay. Now we are sitting with the stern uh, uh, bridge of your supply board, and finally transferring control to, to DP. Engine room is ready. All checklists are performed. They are manually checked all thrusters. They are reacting and responding for our command. Vessel is stable. Speed reduced to zero. With a special switch we transfer control on DP. And by default DP system is on standby. Please select all available thrusters. Thrusters under DP may be selected here on a thruster panel. I see. And thrusters may be selected in one click by DPO through the thrusters menu. Try to open thrusters menu, please. Make a favor for instructor. Thrusters. Thrusters enable, please. 
and choose enable all please enable all yes sir now apply press okay. okay do you know the difference between apply and okay yes okay will do nothing actually it must be applied first it, okay will just close the window but it will not uh, implement the function that you did I'm sorry, man, but you are totally wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's a good idea you try to find the, the answer just on the way. <laughs> in Kohlsberg, if you press apply, the function is implemented. Okay. The option which you have chosen uh, will be implemented and will work. Just the window of appropriate menu going to not be closed. Ah, I see. But if you press OK, the function will be implemented. And the window of the appropriate menu will closed will be closed simultaneously okay. with the moment when you press the OK button. Okay, so okay. whatever you do, press apply or OK, in both cases mm. option is taken on the performance by DP. Okay. Clear with that? Yes, I understand now. <laughs> Okay. You see, now you see all selected thrusters are highlighted with the green. Then please proceed from standby to joystick mode. When the system stays in a standby, mathematical model will not be constructed. Why nothing happened? Because we don't I told that. you some buttons buttons on the DP panel have a white mark at the bottom edge of the button and double click on that button in a 4 second period will give you opportunity to select the desired mode please okay. try so double click am I exacting the explanations? yes you see it works ah, okay. as soon as control transfer to joystick according to Konsberg manufacturer procedure you have to select at least one position reference system which yeah. will initiate the reference origin for position calculation of your DP station by mathematical model please press DGPS1 for example and if you see here we need to make the single click yes. as soon as blink can complete it the system is ready. The PRS calibrated. Okay. Blinking is a calibration process. Tomorrow on the lecture concerned to position reference equipment, I will explain you what does it mean the calibration and how to mm -hmm. perform the calibration in the right way. Because here we have some sequences of event. But have a look. After the PRS calibrated, the position uh, of your vessel is estimated automatically by mathematical model. Am I right? Yes. Here is the information yes. about position. Uh, then you are in joystick. This is the joystick indicator in performance area. This is heading indicator. This arc shows you the rate of turn. Then amount of buses. If breaker is opened here, you will have two buses on indication and status window which describes your PRS, thruster or sensors. If something bad happened with thruster or PRS, there you will receive the message. And uh, here, list of all available PRS also indicated in status mm -hmm. window. Then, speed of the vessel. Then, position information yeah. and force plotter. Force plotter. Clement force plotter shows us the wind direction, the wind determined from the wind sensor number one, the current, and what? The force produced by the vessel. If we move the joystick straight ahead, Indication of the joystick will show us 
how much percent in violet we required. And in green you will see the feedback of the system. This okay, is a feedback of the system. But then... Speed is increasing. Speed is increasing, you are right. But pay attention, now the speed is indicated in meters per second. Not all mariners prefer to have it like that on all type of operations. To change it to knots, you need to go in special menu of the console and what? And change pre select the, the user, uh, let's say, preferences or pre select the user desired parameter mm -hmm. and units for the parameter. Then the vessel moves. Demand and feedback are okay. Loads on the thrusters, if you see, and the force vector in green. That's how the thruster produce the force on board of your vessel. Clear with it? Are you yes. on the same page with yes, me? Yes, I understand. <laughs> Good. Okay. Then, now we know what is performance area. And the next what we are going to discuss is how to proceed from uh, joystick to auto position. Okay. We have to reduce speed better till zero knot. Yeah. But uh, till 0 0.5 is okay. Half a knot is, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, your maximum allowance criteria. Then let's go to the menu view and choose here Display units. Display units. Okay, regulate display. here. And we will choose the details for user definable, for example. Yeah, let's go here. User definable. And press the button details. And speed should be in knots. And if we press apply, have a look. Changes are done immediately. It's Just the window is opened. And if I press OK, you know already the story. <laughs> <clears throat> OK, so ship stopped now. <coughs> the ship is... She is stopped. And then, this double click, please transfer control in auto position. It's going backwards. Press twice, auto position. Look at the loads which appeared. They should appear in a couple of seconds. The, this type of transfer control in auto position is not, uh, let's say, desirable way. Normally, DPO divides maneuver on steps, and we know that DP system has a heading priority. And for that reason, we adjust the desired heading, and then we transfer control to DP first on uh, your axis, pressing the auto heading button twice. Then when heading stabilized, we adjust sway if needed and fix sway. Then we move on swords and reduce speed till zero or till half a knot and press auto source button. Those three buttons when in green, we are in auto position. If you press auto position in one click, then you ask the DP to control three axes simultaneously. And, and this ship. is against of accuracy. You may, uh, let's say, uh, pass the desired position on, or not uh, be able to stop the vessel just in needed position. Then, alarm line, you see, gives us some alarm. If you put the cursor on top of the message line and make a right click, then here we have what? Help function. Help help function. For all important messages, the help function is available. This message is not quite important, but that is, there is no help, if you see. Mm -hmm. Then, you may press the button Alarm View, and here you will see the list of available events and the, what alarms. Here you have Event Page, yeah? And here you have what? Alarm Page. If you press acknowledge button, 
the lump disappear and probably you will find it here in dynamic operator page. Yeah? In the log. Yes, in log. In log. And then also pay attention on the operator desk. We have three axis joystick. So sway and yo. Man, not every system has a rotatable joystick against the vertical axis. Some systems can't give you the same performance. They have a separate knob manipulator which is uh, responsible for the heading control. In Consbit you have three axis joystick once again. Yo controlled with the a rotating of the joystick. Okay. Track ball. This is a prototype of the mouse for Windows based yes. PC with the ball up. Yes. Or yes. ball on top. You may scratch the ball if you like. <laughs> then right click and left click. Left click and right click. The middle click is left for further development. No function is on that click. Okay. Those buttons are adjustable and may have some specific functions, depends on installation where the software is implemented. Okay. This is the input keyboard with a changeable register, you see, okay. if you press A, A, B, C, A, B, C, then you will have letters. Then letters could be capital, yeah? Yes. Or small one. If you need numbers, you deselect ABC and use numbers. Okay. And this button, you know what it is? Enter. Enter is even in Africa, enter. <laughs> and then, this is a heading wheel. Manipulator which let us to control the heading in all automatic modes. The middle click calls the menu. I see. Rotation of the heading wheel may adjust you the values of the heading. The arrows may adjust the decimals after the point, you see? I, I see. To confirm the selected parameter, you have to press again the middle button. The middle button, you're right, man. Clear. Understood. This line is responsible for the position reference equipment selection and sensor selection. Fast access of the main use sensors may be done with a single click on desired sensor like gyro, wind or VRS, vertical reference system. You know already visual and HEWA monitored and measured mm -hmm. by VRS. And then this group of buttons are responsible for the thrusters. The middle set of buttons may give you automatic and fast selection in one click of desired pre-configured working area setup, if you see. So, shortcuts. Yes, this is like shortcut. Hard copy button lets you to save the hard copy of the screen. Okay. It's very useful when you do some maneuver and would like to make a report, for example, in electronic way, yeah? Clear with it? Hard copy, it is here. The controls group of button is very important set of buttons for automatic positioning. Here you have change heading, change position, Present heading, present what position buttons, present heading, present position, change position, change heading, track setup for success, stop on track like a pause on the track, then uh, control setup and joystick setup fast access to settings, and a location setup fast access for the thruster location mode. Joystick full thrust with double click. Maybe joystick full thrust with a double click may be selected by the user.
And here, do you see the take button? Yes. If you operate on real vessel and you have more than two DP consoles or desktops, which one to choose for maneuver? Ah, so is it take button you make select the desired, or if you want to transfer control to some designated station and you have more than one? So you offer control to other yes, stations. Yes, you take twice. You press twice and control taken on the station. Before you press the take button, control is not transferred. So first, uh, the commanding panel must give chance to... Not always like this, just you press twice on the console and you take it. Or in some cases you may press give and go to another, press twice take. But you have, if you have three stations, for example, this works like that. You say give, then go to the desired. Yes. On the P3 vessel, the third terminal may be placed in separate room which is waterproof, fireproof, and with the visualization to the main operational area on board of the unit. Okay? Okay. Happy with that? Yes. So now you know how to select the modes, there are PRS and sensors, what is on the desktop, and most interesting for us always is the set of buttons in the group modes. The set of available modes from ship to ship varies. It is not mm -hmm. the same like here. It depends what type of operation the vessel performs and what are the needs of DP on board of that vessel. For example, if you are not the vessel which engaged in some pipe lay or cable lay operations, probably you will not see the auto track button on your DP console. Or if you just a simple supply board, probably you will not be able to find there.